No. Oh, the rain. Oh, how I miss your soft fur. What? Cut your little whiskers, Lorraine. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was so... I come back and he just shoots me because I left town. <laughs> how great would that be, yeah, huh? Pretty good, yeah. Alright, let's find Lorraine's house. Hey. Yeah, what is it? You have uh, a crime to report? Uh, never mind. Then why are you wasting my time? You would think that the alleged death of Lorraine would qualify as a crime. I need to go in. The, I need to go in Lorraine's shack. Thank you. Yeah, we need to investigate where a crime happened. Crime, Tom. Goodness. My alert cake. She was baking a lot in here. Holy crap. Yep. That's her job. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, death claw, death claw omelet. We're not here to steal from the allegedly dead woman. Let's take one. Let's take one. Let's Apparently take one. we are. This is one. Just one for the road. One for the road. Don't just sit down. I haven't swept that for evidence yet. Holy shit! You walk into the crime scene to find it spattered with blood. This is a lot of blood! <laughs> this is a lot of blood! Yeah. There is a lot of blood on the floor. Touching it reveals it is still wet and must have been spilled recently. It is unlikely that anyone could have lost this much blood and survived. Oh my god, this is so much blood, you guys. Oh, the knife! The knife appears to be the murder weapon. <laughs> However, it is far too blunt to cause significant damage. Maybe because it was dulled. Maybe it's too blunt to have caused damage if used in a slashing motion. But if I just, like, ram a blunt object into someone... If I hold a spoon in my really solidly in my hand and jam it into someone's side, it's probably going to break through. Let's just pause for a second and consider that we were gone for five minutes. And apparently, Lorraine went back into her house, got stabbed to death, her blood sprayed everywhere, her body mysteriously vanished, and now we're suspected of being the culprit? Yeah, that's weird. We have an alibi! They saw us talking and doing other things! Yeah, they saw us talking... I didn't even think of that, but yeah, we have a really solid alibi. We were five feet away talking to the doctor. Hey! Fourville Security is here for you. Oh, for, is it really? Don't leave town. I got... Okay, we'll talk to Roscoe. Maybe Roscoe knows what's going on. Roscoe, or oh no, we'll talk to the doctor. We'll talk to the doctor and get him to corroborate our ally, alibi. Doctor, do you know how many quarts of blood are in a human body? Because apparently a lot. I can't believe it. Lorraine, missing. Who could do this to such a lovely, beautiful woman? I'm here because I need your help. Look at the knife. It has fresh blood on it. This blood isn't fresh. I'm not even sure it's human. Wait a minute, what are you saying? I think Lorraine is still alive, unhurt. <gasps> I have no idea who took her or why, but they want us to think she's been killed. Whoever it is certainly doesn't want anyone coming after her, but they've underestimated us. Why are you so worried about her? Look, Lorraine is a very special woman. She's good, and kind, and I need to make sure she's safe. He's in love with Lorraine! Come on, Doctor! You're taking it more personally than that! All right. I admit it. Lorraine is special to me. Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> Ooh, woo! She's good and kind, and we need to help her. Oh, okay. That's, that's as far it goes. Do you know where she's been taken? She could have been taken anywhere. We should search her house again for clues, now we know what we're looking for. You're just hungry. I'm coming with you, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Yeah, okay. What are we looking for? Any clue we can find as to where Lorraine might have gone, or what happened to her. Maybe she left a note. Okay. A, a note, yeah. But if you're gonna be traveling with us, you gotta wear something on your head. Alright, fine, let's see. We can't waste time. We need to find out what happened to Lorraine. Um, no, it's, it still doesn't work. It's, he's a, I mean... Don't take a chance. Buy my guns. I hope you're keeping out of trouble. I guess. I love it. I now everyone will know that he's traveling with us. Okay, I guess that'll do. Yeah. This is how he convinces people that he's an okay guy. Because he's going incognito 
As a Protectron. Yes, everyone trusts Protectrons. Everyone trusts Protectrons. It's fine, it's fine, this will all work out. This, this is fine. Don't take a chance, buy my guns. No. All right, breach and clear, go, go, go! Yeah! Oh, wait, what? Uh, it looks like there's a note under this vegetable soup. Or is that, no, it's a napkin. There's a napkin under the, how proper! What a nice little meal! All right, let's see here. What are we looking for, anyway? Hey, um, hey. We can't waste time. We need to find out what happened to Lorraine. Okay. All right. Uh, why is it not bloody anymore? <laughs> hmm. Strange. Interesting. Oh, Lorraine's diary! What's that you've got there? A diary? Yes! It might help us find a clue. I, I will read it. Too many cooks is the name of it. Oh my god. <laughs> Too many cooks, too many cooks. Too many cooks, too many cooks. Too many cooks, too many cooks. Uh oh, it'd be under L, wouldn't it? Yes, Lorraine. Derp, derp, derp. I was looking up too many cooks. <laughs> Dear diary, I have made a marvelous new friend today. I was on my way to the common room when I met our town's new doctor, Peter Huxley. He seems so shy. I think the other residents are a little mistrusting of him. He says he's a doctor, but he's actually a mutant with no back of his head. When I stopped talking to him, Goodness. he told me all kinds of interesting stories about his time out west. I should be sure and send him a batch of my cookies the next time I whip some up. Ooh. Dear diary, another bad week playing the numbers. Oh. I really thought I was due for a win. I was so surprised when Nelson told me it was another loss. I'm sure I'll do better next week. Dear diary, I delivered some cookies to Peter this morning. He seemed preoccupied, but I know when a man doesn't want to talk about something. I should invite him to the cottage one day. The, the ruined, busted out cottage that no one wants to live in. Hmm. I'm sure the coastal air would do him some good. Dear Diary, I was down in the common room this morning and I spoke to that poor boy Rusty. He was so upset that even one of my sweet rolls couldn't cheer him up. Dear Diary, another bad week at the numbers. I really thought my luck was going to turn around. I wasn't going to play again, but then Nelson told me that my number had been one away from being chosen. I couldn't walk away when I was so close to winning this week. Dear Diary, Peter is such a kind man. He dropped by my cafe this morning just to say, hello. Thought about inviting him to the cottage, but he hurried away before I could say anything. Oh well, as always next time. Hmm, this cottage sounds interesting. So Lorraine had a cottage. If she was in trouble, she might have gone there to hide. Is it her cottage though? If, it's, if it's the cottage I'm thinking of. But we're not allowed to leave town, Zach. Oh, no. whatever. <laughs> Who's gonna stop us? This is not what I expected we would be doing today. No, it really isn't, but I'm, I'm kind of into it. Okay. They seem really cute together. She's such a nice lady, and he's so Don't shy. Doctor it's just cute. Uh, Dr. Huxley, I made you some cookies. All right, just insert them into the back of my head. So, first you refuse to answer my questions. Then you go snooping around Lorraine's house. Now you're trying to leave town. This all looks very suspicious to me. I don't have time for this! Armor-piercing P90 bullets, go! <laughs> Why? Come on! I can't believe you would accuse me of murder! Die! Die now! Alright, let's load the safe. Okay. <laughs> I have a P90 now, but that doesn't mean I can just immediately go to violence. The thing is, you just got your most favorite gun of all, but now we're doing a fan-made quest, which means it isn't just generic kill enemy quest. Yeah. It's fine. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say the P90 is my most favorite gun of all. It's one of my most favorite guns. It's a, it's a very lengthy list. Looks like you left the tanning bed a little too early, my friend. You gotta rotate, you know? Are you sure you're willing to risk being wrong about this? Ugh. You're right. My arrest record is so bad I was determined for it to be you. Wow. Even though you're probably innocent. <laughs> I'll let you go. I hope you find what you're looking for. You are a bad police officer. And I hope you find a different line of work. Have you considered cobbling? <laughs> Quickly to the cottage! Why does she have a cottage outside of the... Wait a minute, what the... Where the fuck is this cottage? It better not be the destroyed cottage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did she get all the way there? Jeez. It's a summer home, huh? Holy crap, she's summering is might as well be in a different state. My guess is that Lorraine never existed. She was a ghost. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. I like the sound of that one. My guess is that she's hiding out here. 
to hide from the people that she owes money to. Ah, because she had a gambling problem. Yeah, she. you need to stop doing that, Lorraine. This is less of a cottage and more of a small house. Wait, is that just what a cottage is? I usually think of a cottage being by water. Well, we're by water. Oh, I guess you're right. I can see the water literally from the cottage. <laughs> All right, never mind. I I, I'm eating my words right now. Breach and clear. Go, 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 go. You forgot to open the door before you started shooting. Lorraine! Oh, my. I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. Are you all right? <laughs> uh, what? What were you expecting? Nelson or one of his goons, at least. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I've been playing the numbers. Racked up a huge amount of debt and losses and credit. We saw. I owe him 10,000 caps. He was going to kill Jeez. me if I wasn't able to pay up. I didn't know what to do, so I decided to fake my death and flee the Commonwealth. There's got to be another way. Not unless you got the money to pay the debts on you. If you're going to fake your death, maybe do a better job? So you're just going to run away then? Yes. I can't stay here anymore. He'll find me. Nelson always collects his debts. Lorraine, please. You can't leave the Commonwealth. <laughs> you can't give up. And why shouldn't I? I love Fourville, but Nelson will kill me if I stay. Because... Because I love you, Lorraine. Aww. I've been too afraid to admit it until now, but if I don't say it now, then I may never be able to. You're the only person in that town who treats me like a normal person. Not like a super mutant who happens to be the town's doctor. You... you love me? It's true, Lorraine. <laughs> it is. I've been in love with you for so long I can't remember what it's like not to love you. Hux, I don't know what to say. Aww. Oh, okay, uh, I have to make a dialogue choice here. This really isn't any of my business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is now because we're being accused of murdering her. If you love someone, hold on to them. Tomorrow you might not have the chance. Nod, 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 agreement, agreement. You're yep. right, Huxley. I love you too. Aww. It doesn't matter to me that you're a super mutant. I love you for who you are. Lorraine. I don't know what to say. Star-crossed lovers? I never thought there was any way you could feel the same way about me as I felt about you. You have to stay in Fourville. We can work through this together. We can't let Nelson ruin what we have. Yes, Huxley. I'll stay with you. It doesn't matter what we need to do. We'll find a way to get Nelson his money. I love you. I love you, too. Hooray! Yay! That's <laughs> all right. Now let's go kill Nelson for you. <laughs> all right, yeah. This one, this one time, I'll do it at a discount. Only a thousand caps. Well, we're gonna have to be sneaky about it, cause otherwise the town's gonna go hostile again. I never thought it could happen. I never thought Lorraine would love me. I know who could love someone like you. It all worked out in the end. I've not been this happy in a long time. I bet. I'd never have said anything if it wasn't for you. I never thought I'd feel like <laughs> this. I feel human again. Well, thank you for everything you've done. You're welcome. And now let's return to Fourville now that our innocence has been proven. Oh, this is another cottage. What? Uh, hello? Is there someone here? Who are you? Made of trash. <laughs> Was a bit safer with them feeding the birds. We gotta open a window so they can feed the birds. All right, well, uh, apparently... Her neighbor was a uh... meow. What? A kitty! Oh no! Don't worry, we gave that cat a new meal. Oh no! I just killed this kitty's owner. Was it? Cause that raider psychopath is hostile. Oh no! We did just barge into a woman's house and she immediately started shooting at us. Oh, maybe we're in the wrong here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I was in the wrong here. <laughs> I had burst into a woman's home and she brought up a gun to defend herself. The game has crashed. That broke the game. That broke the game. I don't know exactly how that broke the game, but that broke the game. You have broken the game by adjusting the audio check. It's just like nobody, nobody seems capable of doing their job anymore, which is just... 
just absolutely infuriating. Oh, okay, everything is working. Everything is now functional. 